Education Matters and the Bossier Parish School Board votes today to issue a resolution opposing a House bill that would allow parents to customize their child's education. NBC 6's Alicia Gatewood was at the meeting and joins us now in studio explaining what led to the decision. Alicia? Dan and Jackie, that is right. They're talking about House Bill 745. It would create educational savings account for students in Louisiana who qualify. Now the meeting was very brief but very vocal. Choice is not a bad thing as long as everything is equal. This is not equal. The Bossier Parish School Board votes unanimously Tuesday during a special session to issue a resolution opposing House Bill 745. The bill introduced by State Representative Julie Emerson enables all Louisiana families to choose and customize their child's education. The Bossier Parish School Board says in education reform, customization, comes with cost. It is not for us up here. This is a South Louisiana money grab. It's the money. It's all anyone focuses on. There's a lot more involved here. Bossier Parish School Board Superintendent Jason Rowland believes this legislation gives private schools an upper hand, creating a disadvantage for public school students. I'll say it, that uh, what this is, is this is a way for students that go to private school to get part of their uh, tuition paid for by, by state tax dollars. The school board says money flowing to private schools would leave a gap in transparency since they do not report audits annually in the same fashion as public schools. Public school system is mandated by the state and federal government what they have to do. We can't do anything outside of that. We have to disclose where we spend our money, how we spend our money. It is complete transparency. Private schools and charter schools, they don't have to do that. Motion passes unanimously. Now, according to Superintendent Rowley, many school boards throughout the state are opposing the bill as well. House Bill 745 advanced in the House Committee on Education today. A similar version passed in the state Senate last week. If the combined bills get enacted at the state level, they would take effect in the 2026-2027 school year. Dan and Jackie. A lot more to come from that story. Now, Alicia, thanks so much.